me put my boo on the phone. Yo. Hello? You you on the cameras right now. Say something, boo. Hi. Fuck out of here. Banged it on her. That's what I do, dogs. Get that on camera. ASAP started in 2006 with ASAP Yams, ASAP Bari, ASAP Illy. All of them were down with it. We were still in like trial and error mode at that time. We decided to call ourselves the Piff Crew. We ran with that for like two days. Then we was in Wendy's sitting down, nigga Yams like, oh, fuck that. The new name of this shit is ASAP. If you don't have a name, let it be a strong, powerful name that represents us. And when you tell the person, the meaning of the name is gonna leave an impression on them. You know, of course, everybody initial reaction when they first hear is like, as soon as possible, as soon as possible, Cruiser, we all joking and shit. I'd be like, nah, like always strive and prosper. And it's been rough for all of us. And you know, if, if it's one thing I could repeat to myself in my mind is always strive and prosper. ASAP had a lot of shit in common: fashion, Texas music purple drink, and just being open-minded. That's a lot to have in common, you know? And to be from Harlem, like, that's just, it's coincidental. It's just like, what's the odds? You know, we was the only guys in there wearing Farragamo, Louis Vuitton, Yves Saint Laurent. They didn't get it, like, they was, this is 06. Our jeans was tighter than this. We some ghetto-ass, you know, kids that grew up around fucking white boys and black boys at the same damn time. You know what I'm saying? It's like color, none of that shit mattered to us. It didn't register to us because we was we came from a place where everybody treated each other fucked up. I know plenty of white people who are niggas. That, that's straight up. You know what I'm saying? I, I do, it's, it's, it's really circumstances, yo. This is true, I'm telling you right now. Eminem is a fucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bill Clinton was a nigga. <laughs> His office is in Harlem and he gets his dick sucked on the job. Some nigga shit, man, straight up. I know a lot of proud, self-righteous black people probably gonna get offended, but I'm proud to be a nigga. It is what it is. LA, you get more bang for your buck, bro. You get a big ass, nice spot, man. You know what I'm saying? The weather's nice, you know? It's like a permanent vacation. I'm missing a few, but for the most part, I try to keep up. Look at this Mark Jacobs shit right here. Picked up today. Shit is jiggy, you feel me? My, my keep it moving shit. Andy Warhol, Supreme, collab, Camel Suit Vans. Very rare. Public Enemy Supreme, very rare Jeremy Scott. Everybody had these too. Goyard Vans, bruh. Just to match my Goyard luggage, though. Let me show you my bed, though. Show y'all motherfuckers some jiggy shit, you feel me? Pushing all the shit off the floor. You gotta get the very rare Versace sheets. Just cause I be on my jiggy shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this picture right here is um, ASAP Ferg drew this for me. He drew this the day after his father died, and he framed it and gave it to me like four Christmases ago when we was like young niggas and shit. Like, you know, I love that nigga. Ferg is my, my little bro, man. I'm proud of Ferg right now because he paid attention and he listened to everything I told him. Just think about the fall and shit. <laughs> Yo, oh, you got some very rare. Oh, yes. These are very fucking uh, we, we already rare, had bro. that on camera, bro. Fuck like, that. Get that shit again. Berg was in student mode for a year straight, and now it's his time to shine. It's his time to teach. You know, now he was about to be a professor. Reading is fundamental. Ferg is gonna be huge. Mark my words, man. Oh my God! Hey, look at my sash, bro. Oh my God! I'm gonna hook my nigga Ferg jacked a ladder for his chain. Yeah. Right. You feel yeah. me? I'm definitely out here. Where's like, my genie, bro? Watch this shit, though. Look at look at this rip. Look at how smoky that shit is. And then that shit just hit me. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Turn the music down, you asshole. I'm doing a fucking interview here. Fuck these niggas. Yams, the 
fucking Puerto Rican Bobby Brown. One of my best friends. Not only that, he's my business partner, part owner of ASAP Worldwide Global Enterprises. Are you following me right now? I ain't shit. Yims and I used to sit up at night on the phone strategizing how we would single-handedly just come in and just like take over this, you know, rap shit on some young shit. We knew we didn't want to be under nobody. We didn't want to be anybody's protege. We didn't need no cosign. We said, we gonna come in this shit, do it our way. And we used to just hold it down on some ASAP shit. Yo, that will break killing me right now. <laughs> bro, I look like Michael Jackson ghetto brother right now. Bro, you tripping, my nigga. You out here, right Feel me, bro, bro? Nigga, I was chilling the other night. My shit was just hanging like out my hat. I ain't even know about nigga. I was looking why I was stupid. Like, nigga Luke came up to me like, yo, fix your hair, my nigga. You looking crazy right now. He was wild high talking, nigga. He was like, bro, you gotta fix that braid. I can't even listen to what you're saying right now. The braid is saying, hey, tell me a whole different conversation. <laughs> Cutting the wrist. Her mom died. Heron overdose. Stuck, Stuck in the wrist. wrist. Father fucking her. Older man fucking, fucking her. Sis, sis but love my music. music. Say, Say I do nothing, nothing but hits. hits. She'll do anything for me, nothing but hits. Cause when she needed help, I gave her nothing but fix. Needed coke, needed dope, yeah, I gave her a fix. So she went across the street, gave him a kiss, stuck her tongue out, flirted, played with his dick. You know Cam? He said, yeah, don't play with his chips. Stood back, blazed him with six, amazing and shit. Yo, what up my nigga Killer Cam? You know that, you're? Yo, this the all star We Gummy bear, gummy bear. Yo, if I wasn't from Harlem, I'd be from Holland because it sounded the same. What? <laughs> Holland, please? Man said Holland. Holland, nigga. Now look how the plans are unrailing. It's like we got ASAP Ferg up next after Ferg, maybe Nas, maybe 12 -y. Look how things is flowing. People expected me to fuck this up. They thought I was going to keep fighting. They thought I was going to do some dickhead shit. It was the last night of South by Southwest 2012. We was doing a Vice show. All night, for some strange reason, we keep getting cans thrown at us. By the sixth can, 12, he started tripping. I'm like, yo, please, y'all just do it, can don't do it no more. Please, don't throw money at us because we don't want to end this early. Next person that throws something that's not water. Start popping on everybody in the crowd. Pink, pink at deck and everybody, everybody start fighting everybody. Like just the whole crowd. Hey, let's go. I had a pair of Jeremy Scott's on. Those are my favorite sneakers of all time. When I think of him, I think of family. <laughs> the nigga with the one braid hanging in front of his face. Who was that nigga? He was cold. Those are the animal cats right there. And they got dirty vans on with no socks, and they father got money, that mean them fucking. Who the fuck is Kathy Griffin, The comedian, brother? bitch. I bring the dick back to life, <laughs> and then I fuck it to death. And then I laugh, and I light a cigarette and put it out on it. Okay, I can't top that <laughs> shit. <laughs>